If you're asked to write the formula for silver phosphide, this is how you do it. First, you'd write the element symbol for silver. That's AG. Next, the phosphide. That's from phosphorus. So we're going to write P. So we have silver. This is a transition metal. And then we have this nonmetal here. We need to think about the charges. We know that the phosphide ion, phosphorus, is in group 15. So it'll form ions that are 3 minus. Silver, it's a transition metal, but it's almost always 1 plus. And since this is a neutral compound, it doesn't say ion after it, these charges, they need to add up to zero, give us a net charge of zero. If we had three of these silver ions here, three times one plus, that would be three plus, that would balance out the three minus. So this is the formula for silver phosphide, Ag3P. If you were to write the name based on the formula, sometimes you'll see people call this silver one phosphide, and that's because it has this 1 plus ionic charge. But since it's almost always 1 plus, you probably can just leave it as silver phosphide. This is Dr. B with the formula for silver phosphide, AG3P. Thanks for watching.